Whoop. All right, welcome to Good Mythical More. Rhett, if you are correct in getting tails, that means I gotta run to my trash can and share something interesting with all of you. If not, you've gotta do it. Glasses, man. Here what is we are. It? Heads, uh-oh, I gotta go. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I'm very excited about this Good Mythical More because we've got um, an amazing update for you guys and our continuing the story of our partnership with Be The Match, which is a national bone marrow donor program. Now, back on March 5th of last year, we posted a video uh, called An Easy Way to Save a Life, and it wasn't clickbait. Um, we had as guests on, we had Chris, who was in need of a bone marrow transplant at the time, and his friend Dylan. Uh, we'll put a link in the description if you want to go back and watch that episode. But for now, I'll just say a quick update from Chris. He found a donor and he's doing well post-transplant, and he and Dylan are still working on their nonprofit um, outreach work. And um, well, I'll talk about the, the world record Chris and Dylan were trying to break on our show in a second, but Rhett, what'd you get from your trash can? Um, I got this puzzle that I burned a hole in. Okay, uh, is that a TikTok hole? Oh, yeah, it is. If you want to know why <laughs> I did this, you got to go to the mythical TikTok. Oh, you're making a TikTok promotion in the middle of this? Yeah, look, look. I got puzzle pieces falling everywhere. I mean, TikTok is a good... It, we do want you to go over to TikTok, but more importantly, we want you to go over to be the match morning.org today. Um, yeah, go there I, first. I was about to, then I was about TikTok. to tell him... You could tell, you could tell him about... Chris and Dylan's world record they were trying to break on the show, and then what happened? Yeah, so you may remember when they came here, they were trying to break the world record for the number of donor signups in a day. Um, and so Be The Match was averaging like six to 800 registrations per day at the time. And then on the day of that video, Be The Match added over 6,000 registrations. And the day after that, another 2,400. So we got over 8,000 people added to the registry in just those two days. And that was, yes, a new record. Yeah, and it, the cause remains just as important now as it, as it was a year ago. Um, so like I said, we wanna invite you to check out be the match as an organization and you get to get more information and to join the be the match registry today um you can go to be the match and it like tells the good mythical morning connection and everything but right now um we're very excited because we're going to meet one of the donors who signed up after watching our episode and hear his story mythical beast lucas burns lucas burns you there? Hi, yeah, hi, Rhett and Link. It's hey, really man. exciting to be here. Yeah, man, yeah, welcome to Good to Mythical you. More. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's, yeah, we, it's we really, heard... Like, the, incredible. <laughs> yeah, we heard the story uh, when, when you reached out and said, you know, you had donated because of the show, and then some imp pretty incredible stuff happened after you were added to the registry. So tell us about that. Yeah, so uh, I saw your bit with Chris and Dylan um, probably in, like, 2018 around then and I signed up to the registry shortly after uh, sadly wasn't part of that big uh, world record boom but um, so I officially joined late 2018 and then uh, okay. I actually ended I ended up matching in about mid 2019 which is really like that's a very short window like normally some people go their whole time registered and never never match so it was sort of a rare thing that happened yeah there's like a one in 430. Yep. chance that you'll be a yep. match for somebody yeah which is incredible especially considering how many people really need these donations and, for, and the um, way that they knew just to recap the first thing you do when you when you join the registry is you yeah. just as we did that time we're you know yep it's literally um, easy it's as easy as getting a, a q-tip in the mail swabbing your cheek and mailing it back like hmm. that's that's all it is right when you register they send it to you you get the swab yep Yep. Then you send and it back, and then you may never get a call, but you got that exactly. call, mm -hmm. and, w and w then what happened? So after that, I had to do some sort of preliminary, like, t question and answer, make sure that I was in good health and all that, and that, like, I wasn't putting myself in danger or putting them in any danger, and that all went well. Um, eventually, I had a date set, and um, they uh, just made it as smooth sailing as possible, like... I had to, I, I don't drive, so I took Lyft's places and they, they 
had comps for those and and it was so easy and they made so it where did you travel from and to um so i traveled from uh so where i am currently so st louis and i traveled to to new york the first time is that where the person was in new york no um uh they are actually in europe mm. um because it's oh, okay. it's a global database so they right, are, right. they're in europe so um I, I i first donated in late 2019 um and uh i was only i was only there for about 48 hours but like it was such it was so easy you and donated incredible. bone you didn't donate bone no, marrow so, you donated so, white blood cells correct so the beta match does either bone marrow or um blood stem cells and i did the blood stem cells um which it's a super simple process it's literally just a needle in each arm and they just cycle your blood and take out what they need and put it back in the other arm and it t it took about for me it took five hours um, mm. it was, it was, it's literally just sitting in it. It's like sitting in a dentist chair for five hours. That's, that's all it takes. That's literally all it is. But so, it's also saving a person's life. Exactly. It's that easy. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. And everybody, all the staff that I worked with and everyone, they were all the nicest, friendliest people you could ever meet. It was like I was in a resort. Like it was, it was incredible. And then so uh the my first my donation got shipped off and i i went back to my regular life and then early this year i get another call um and they needed an additional transplant or a donation and um they for the same person same person yeah so okay. normally normally you're off the register for a year after you donate unless the same person needs another donation okay, uh, okay. for for safety reasons um and so I get this call and we schedule the thing. Um, and it was for like last month. Uh, and this was the scheduling happened before, you know, the whole world decided to uh, shut down. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, but, but like, you can't change these dates when you get this close. So I took a plane uh, and uh, covered my mouth. <laughs> and uh, um, it was, it was even easier than the first time. It took a, it was less time. It was only two hours this time, but um, it was, it was incredible. They make, they make it feel, it was, oh, it was like taking a vacation, like an all expenses paid vacation. Like, and so, but you, you have have you met, um, the recipient at any point in the process? I have not. So, so it's sort of like a case by case basis on whether you ever get to meet them. Usually like after a certain amount of time has passed, you can decide to, but there are certain countries and states that don't allow patient stuff. I'm not okay. entirely, I don't want to say anything incorrect because I'm not an expert on the exact okay. details of that, but um, I have not had any, con ha had any contact with my recipient and that's, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to save lives, not necessarily. Well, not you've, no you've had, you've had indirect <laughs> contact. <laughs> yes. Your, yeah. your white blood cells have had yeah, very they, meaning, yeah. meaningful contact. <laughs> yes. I mean, well, it's so awesome. Important contact. Yeah. I mean, it's so awesome because, um, like you said, it's an easy thing to make the decision or it's an easy process to, to sign up for. It's not an easy thing to make the decision because there's not a yeah. lot of people who have made the decision. It's true. Um, but then the process of, of giving, you know, I know there's two, there's either white blood cells or the bone marrow and the white blood cells are a little bit less in, in, invasive. But then the fact that you had to do it again and you were able to do it are willing to do it in the midst of all this stuff that's going on with the virus. I mean, that's it's, it's an incredibly yeah. mythical thing that you did, an incredibly <laughs> selfless thing that you did to say, you know what, I'm going to put myself at risk, doubly at risk. Uh, you know, I, I guess the, the procedure is a small risk, but actually the bigger risk was just getting on a plane in the middle of all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was definitely the part I was the most stressed out about. <laughs> and do you, do you... I guess that means you don't get any word in terms of how how the recipient is doing in general. Um, I believe not for some time. I think some okay. time has to pass before they can say anything. Um, but like, I get, I, of I get I, that. I wish them all the best. Yeah, and um, well, you know what, Lucas? We I mean, we just want to thank you for for embodying mythicality and just kindness and just 
love for your fellow human. Uh, I mean, in this time, we're really, we, I think more and more people have a sense of how connected we all are. This is something Red and I have talked about in our podcast, but I mean, this really, this really drives it home when thanks to technology and be the match and everything that they've done to make the process as seamless as possible, it gives everyone the opportunity to step up and say, if I can help, I will. And the fact that you made that decision, it's, you know, I, you're being your mythical best and it's, you know, we, we're inspired by that. So thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. And I, and I want to just say thank you guys so much as well for having that bit those years ago, because it without it, I would never have had the opportunity to help give someone their life back. And it really means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to them. Yeah, man. Uh, well, thanks for answering the call. And, you know, the, the needs still exist out there. There's still a lot of people on that list waiting uh, for these donations. And the list is growing, but there's still a lot of room for a lot of people. So we encourage everybody to join the Be The Match registry today. Uh, and you can also give financially to this whole thing. You can go to be the match org, which is a special site that we've set up that talks a little bit about the connection between Good Mythical Morning and Be the Match and Lucas's story. Uh, but there's where you can get more information and then go over to Be the Match and actually sign up and join the registry. Something that we're encouraging everybody to do if you haven't done it yet. Yeah, and we want to encourage you also to help spread the word. Um, be the match is running a fun campaign now called hashtag couch the number two cure couch to cure and it's basically you make a video of you doing something on your couch it can be very short it can be very simple and you post it on social media to raise awareness for be the match and just be sure to hashtag it couch to cure hashtag be the match and tag at be the match so um yeah, like I said, it's it's a great opportunity, and it's it's a it's a, it's an extremely crucial and important step to take, and it's one that you shouldn't take lightly. But um, it's it's a, once you've made the decision, they make it so simple to do it, and it really does connect directly to potentially saving someone's life. I mean, I, I just can't think of many opportunities where it's so simple to do something so life altering or life preserving be the match morning.org well lucas thanks for being here man and uh thanks for being your mythical best and like link said exemplifying mythicality uh in a very very clear way that we can all yeah. follow thank you so much for having me again i really appreciate it yeah man and if you do you have any questions for Rhett? like have your eyes been closed this whole time or are you a tool <laughs> Anything like that? <laughs> I just assumed his eyes were closed. <laughs> I don't know okay. any better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> <We> just... <laughs> All right, Lucas. Well, stay safe, man. And uh, hey, keep being a hero. Just look for Thank other you. ways to save lives. You're Absolutely. on a roll, brother. Missed that merch the first time around? Get it now before it's gone. Visit the last chance section at mythical.com.